Welcome back all my Share Bears. Today's video is November Favorites and I have favorites galore. This is one of my favorites for this month. She is actually new to our family. Her name is Athena and we adopted her from the SPCA but she is not the only one. So we also adopted Matcha and she has become our little cuddle pie. Uh, they were, the way our SPCA is set up, they have four rooms where they keep their cats. And Matcha and Athena were in the same room together and they were buds. So we originally were going to get Athena, which her name was Madonna. We changed their names. Uh, this was actually Mona, but we changed it to Matcha. So they were in the same room together. They were buds and we originally were just going to get Athena and she said, you know, they're friends and we'll give you both of them for the price of one because they are a no-kill facility. Their fees are a hundred dollars for a pet a cat adoption. And we went, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, because if you've seen my furry friends tag, we already had four cats. So we now have a grand total of six kitties and we loved them yes so we were happy to take both of them and little did we know that the one that we originally weren't going to take would turn into the cuddliest cat known to man so their names are Athena and Matcha and Matcha is actually the ancient Irish goddess of animals and wildlife and Athena is the Greek goddess of animals so that is my first and second favorite for November and it's why I didn't have Friday favorites up last week because we were dealing with introducing two new cats to the family. <laughs> now I will get on to my other favorites. This has become a recurring theme now that she loves my shoulder and she kind of reminds me of a cat I had years ago who died at a very young age because she would sit on my shoulder or she would curl up on my shoulder and snuggle into my neck so I'm quite loving matcha my other favorite for November which has nothing to do with beauty is that I'm going to get yelled at for this it's the cold weather and the snow we have snow we have about four inches of snow right now and it's been cooler so I'm not in as much pain as I was so thank goodness for cold weather. <laughs> now on to the beauty favorites. So I have a sample size of the Lancome Sil Booster XL which is a lash primer. I said when I got this is just a deluxe sample. I hope I don't fall in love with it. 
I fell in love with it. First time I used it, I don't know if I'll get the full size. I want to try. I think L'Oreal has a lash primer that I want to try and find and try that first because it will be cheaper because the full size of this is $31 and that's quite pricey for just a primer even though I love what it does to my lashes. I do love what it does to my lashes. Next item I have, not to sound like a broken record, because I know I have shown this in a Friday favorites or fabs, but the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels palette. If you have gotten this, please tell me how you like it. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Go out and get it. I'll stop the video, come back, watch the rest later. Go get it. This palette is awesome. I'm actually wearing most of the colors that I'm wearing on my eyes are from this palette today. And I paired it with my CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette, but I have been not using this one, but my Nudes palette from the CoverGirl line to pair with it or Makeup Geek Single Shadows. Bye! Or I used it with my Kat Von D. I'm using today this one in the crease, this under the brow bone. I'm wearing the blue just a little bit in and then the black. The black is sparkly. There is only one matte shade in here and I'm going to be a broken record again and say that purple. is beautiful and it goes on the eyes even better than it goes with a finger swatch on the hand. This palette is awesome. There is fallout but the CoverGirl True Naked palettes are a bit softer so you're always going to get fallout. And now I have fur all over my face. So this is worth every penny. It was like $6.99 for this when you're if you're getting it and you don't have one of the other palettes pick up the Naked's palette. It works perfect with this. Um, the purples and the blues work really well with the Roses palette but I've used the purple and the blue with the Nudes palette too and it's awesome. You will need mats of some sort to work with it because it's basically all shimmer and this color right here the one that is matte is the same color that's the third one in on the roses my next favorite and this is a Canadian only brand I'm sorry but I have said this one in my Friday Fabs and Flubs and this came in a four pack of lipsticks that were all mattes from Quo, it's their holiday collection and this is the color Fig and it's the one I've been reaching for over and over again. I am not wearing Fig on my lips today. There's the color. These wear really nicely. They don't last through like drinking and eating but they're easy to reapply but if like just coffee I was fine but if I was eating they'd wear off but not in a bad way and when they wear off when you're not eating and drinking they wear off very evenly so it's not like you notice them and they are so so comfortable is a Sephora liquid lipstick and this is the one I am wearing on my lips today and this is in Petal Luster and these are luster mattes they're the long wear lip colors and 
I don't know why I suddenly decided I needed this color because it is more pink and not really fall or winter oriented but it's right there if you haven't tried the Sephora lip creams you need to try them they are so comfortable they don't dry so that your lips feel like they're going to flake off your face these are really comfortable they dry they last they are transfer resistant they are awesome next I have and this is going to be like a broken record too because I've been talking this up and this was something I had pulled out of my drawer I'm like I'm going to use this I bought it I need to use it and it's the Maybelline contour kit especially the highlighter as you can see it is quite worn because I have been using it like a mad woman I can't get away from it I'm just it is just the perfect subtle highlight for your face especially in a working environment like an office or in my case I'm either in the office or I'm on a till dealing with customers and you don't want to look like you're going to a party you're there to work right but the contour and the blush are also really really nice and you can't tell the contour is there and the blush is there they're the perfect shades for my skin type and I can't remember how much this was it I think it was in the $8.99 range but well worth the money and I have been using that highlight like crazy the last two items I have are both from subscription boxes um, this is a pure Brazilian miracle leave-in conditioner and if you've been watching for a while the subscription boxes when I get hair care products I'm like oh not another one but I had two really bad ones and I saw this I'm like no not another one but it's a leave-in conditioner I'll try it I love it I won't be repurchasing it because it's $51 just for shipping and that's too much it end up over a hundred dollars I can't spend a hundred dollars on just a conditioner a leave-in conditioner although I love it I won't be purchasing a full size of it the other item on the on the other hand I will repurchase and it is the Briagio Rosa Rosara Co blow dry perfection heat protectant cream this stuff is awesome it's $24 I think I can get it on Sephora um, this works really good and I didn't just use it as a heat protectant I used it in my hair after I would shower I shower at night I don't blow dry my hair so I put a little bit in after I towel dried my hair and the next morning if I strained it I strained it if I didn't I didn't it didn't matter my hair felt really nice and soft and silky with this stuff the only downfall of it was that the smell gives me a slight headache but it goes away because the scent doesn't stay like the whole time awesome product and I believe this is a new product from Briagio I have had Briagio shampoo and conditioner just a little sample size and as I've said when you give me a little packet I can't tell if I'm gonna like it there's usually not even enough conditioner in the packet to actually condition my hair properly so I based on this product I may even look at buying a shampoo and conditioner from the line because this is awesome and this came from my boxycharm box in October so awesome products so that's everything for my fr uh, my monthly favorites I hope you've in 
enjoyed seeing and meeting my new family members. I hope you have a wonderful week. Please remember to check the description box down below for the current MAV giveaway member. Also, there is a link to the Facebook fan page for the MAV members. I hope you have a wonderful day. Much love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.